What has been your experience with white people in the United States? So my first experience is uh, in the like first year seminar class. Uh, it was like one of the like, first conversations I had. It was with a white dude. He just like, he said, do you ride camels? Yeah. And he, he, so and you're, he, so and he looked like really, really like, he was asking like, Really? Like, do you, re do you ride camels? So he wasn't even joking. He wasn't sarcastic, you know? <laughs> so what you discovered about white people, at least this guy, is he's really interested in camels. All right. Yeah. So what, what else? Okay, so, but what else? Like, what's just your general when you go out in public? It's like, what's your experience of white people? Okay, one time I was in Beaver Stadium. Okay, yeah. I was waiting for my friends. And this guy comes, okay, he was offering me a beer. I said like, oh, I'm a minor. I didn't want to say I'm a Muslim. I just said, like, oh, I'm a minor. I can't drink. I look young. So I was like, I'm a minor. And he was like, uh, oh, yeah, where are you from? And I was like, uh, give a guess. And he's like, oh, India? I was like, no. He's like, okay, okay, what about, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm from the Middle East. And he was like, oh, yeah, I've been to the Middle East. I've killed some like, Middle Easterns and stuff like that. And he was like, he was a little drunk. I wouldn't say, but it was really, really like bad. Like, he, he wasn't like, I, I would say he was conscious, okay? He said, I, I killed some Iraqis and stuff like that. It wasn't like really a good conversation. But, uh, and then he started like talking about the FBI and stuff like that. I was like, oh, are you okay, man? Uh, so you're asking him if he's okay? Yeah, I didn't say that. I was, I was scared of my life, of course, because <laughs> <laughs> if I said anything, if I, I, didn't, I just said Middle East, and if I said Saudi, he would, I don't know, what do you do, you know? Okay, 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 you, have, you gave me two experiences. What about, dude, you've been here two years. There's a whole bunch of white people that you're interacting with. What is your average interaction with white people? Okay, okay, let's, let's talk about the average. Uh, like, okay, so most probably here, people are like educated in the university. Yeah. So I think- uh, Except the guy that asked you about- Yeah, yeah, that guy, that guy. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so most, like, most probably, especially like in the engineering, Petroleum engineering, a lot of professors are like, they have a good idea about Saudi and like Muslim people because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like a, a lot of Saudis in, in the petroleum classes. So I didn't, I don't feel like from day to day, like, okay. I How about your other classes? Do you like, I want to go back to what, what he said. He said like he meets people, people seem really nice. Are white people nice? On average? Yeah, yeah on average, yes, yes. They're, they're kind, uh, especially here in State College. But I want to say like, before coming here, I thought like life is really like dangerous. So I do have the, the same like thoughts you guys have back like home in Saudi. I do have thoughts like Dios is uh, like dangerous, there's serial killers, all kind of stuff, you know? So yeah, it's just like, it's a stereotype. I just was scared of my life once I came yeah. here. So once I, I went with my family to Philadelphia and we arrived at night, it was really, really scary. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't want to offend anyone from here from Philly. I, I, I guess, like, there's a lot here from Philly, but downtown Philly is really scary. Dude, <laughs> Tay knows, man. She's from Philly, and that's why she's here. She's like, shit. All right, okay. All right, okay. So, in other words, white people are okay, it's black people. Uh, they're scary. White people are all right, though. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I thought he just said that. Didn't he just say that? I said oh, no, Philly. You said Philly. Okay, I said, you Philly. said Philly. All right. In fairness, you did say Philly. All right. I guess I guess no, I'm the it racist. Wasn't, it one. wasn't. No, no, no. It wasn't like black people. I. No, no, no. You're, I, you're putting words in my mouth. I know I am, dude. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. talking he's generally. Good. No, no. He's all good. Yeah, yeah. You're good, bro. Um, when you did I have I said anything that like pops out for you? Has has did he say anything that kind of comes out of like your, what's, what's your general experience of white people? As a, as a, you know, someone who's East Asian, Korean. Your general experience, not like, you know, we're, we're gonna talk about specific experiences. When I introduce myself, I'm, I'm from Korea, then the follow-up question usually comes up, are you from North or South? So like, I'm sure someone has asked that question. It's not, it's somehow it's not really offensive question, but I think it's a bit ignorant question. Like, have you been on the news? Like, would I be in the US if I were from, well, okay. No, the chances are the highly chances, unlikely. Yeah, the chances 
chances are highly unlikely that I'm talking to you one on one. Okay, and then and then just what else though? What's your average perception of white people? So most of my friends that I met from Penn State are white. They're usually in sororities. Um, are they nice? Are they? Yeah, they are nice. They are my friends. So, but when I'm on Facetime, when I'm back in Korea and I'm like on Facetime with them, they always ask like, "Is there Starbucks in Korea?" Like. They always ask like, like stuff like that stuff thing uh, like them thinking that cr some other country other than the U.S. is underdeveloped or like un like not westernized enough. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, okay, so one of your experiences of people is that <laughs> unique to white? Is that all people? That's that can't be just white people because like <laughs> um, black and brown people are pretty not very aware either. Could be, but um, unfortunately, my friend group is not that diverse. Okay. So I can't really say that, um, not intentionally, but like being in Madison, like I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin, which is predominantly white, and I went to okay. like private school, which was 99% white, and I was the one girl who was bringing the diversity to the whole school. So and okay, and there your experience of white people is? Is that, I mean, they were curious about me. They wanted to get to know me because mm -hmm. everyone had their families and I was living alone. Like I was okay. living with my host family. So they always like try, to like try to invite me to Thanksgiving, Christmas. So yeah, people are friendly and nice. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it was because they were white people. I yeah, think they're, it was because they're, they're people. They're more, yeah, but it's, okay, yep. And I think, but on average, Americans are pretty friendly. But nonetheless, the lots of people around the world are very friendly. But yeah. Americans are at the upper, more friendly kind of area, us group. Yeah, okay. But you'd say, at the same time, though, you don't really see a. I'm here, people. There's not like really a great difference. It's Americans. Yeah. Okay. Hey, bro, how how do people in Nigeria before you came here? How when you think about coming here and being with white people and like black Americans, like how do people distinguish? Do they, do people like to what degree do people see black Americans as just white white Amer You know. Like, they don't make a distinction. Okay. Uh, so first off, for black Americans, most of us, especially in the middle class Nigerian home, we grew up watching CNN, uh, BBC, Sky, like mostly, mostly Western media. Mm -hmm. So every time we see images of our country, our people is often bad. But a few times we see images of black people, is of black Americans, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, entertainment, you know, popular actors, athletes. So black Americans kind of like form like a positive image of black people. Like that was like the only positive image of black people we saw in the media. Mm -hmm. And- Oh, you mean people who were in entertainment and yeah, performance yeah. arts, okay, okay. Because otherwise you see negative images yeah, mostly when every time we saw about Africa and whole, it's mostly, oh, donates to this or s some kid on, on the news that's yeah. malnourished. But I do want to point out about the, uh, you said something about racism. Yeah. So for Nigerians especially, from my class, from lower class to middle class from where I am now, uh, for racism, we didn't only like think white people because mm -hmm. we have a lot of, we've had a lot of experiences. We've had racism from Arabs. We've had racism from... Dude, wait, hang on one second. Yo, yo, can you stop talking? Really? Thanks, man. He's, now he's talking about your people, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him throw you under the bus. All right, go ahead. Tell so, us about the Arab, the racist Arabs. So, we've, so we have a lot of Arabs in the country, and we also have a lot of Indians and uh -huh. a lot of uh, Chinese people too. Mm -hmm. And our experiences with them a lot, most times, are very racist. Like they 
think were inferior to them. Mm -hmm. that, so when we think about racism in general, it wasn't just white people. Mm -hmm. okay. It was basically almost everybody against us. Okay. So when I came to the U.S. and I heard of uh, POC as a term. People of color. People of color. It's like, it's like a united kind of alliance between every minority. It was kind of like a shock because from where I'm coming from, we haven't had this united theme with got you yeah yeah other people of color that oh we all suffering racism against white people or from white people or something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay i got you so this is like so then this is really interesting right you're seeing like how like here in the united states if you're an american in particular we we have this sense of like that our this vision of the way we categorize racial groups and so on like, it just defines everything about life, but it doesn't define thing about, it doesn't define most of the world. It's a very unique perception or a way of seeing things here. So do people, so when you think about black Amer, you know, so here you have African Americans, right? You know, African American. Do you, do, we can come back to this and have another class on it. It would be really interesting to have a conversation between Africans and African Americans. But like, because I, I, my, what, how distinctly do you do people on average see African Americans? Like how distinct are they from white Americans? Let me just stick with black and white. So first off, we know we're different from African Americans. Okay. And then, obviously, white Americans are different from African Americans. And I would be lying to say we haven't seen stereotypes of African Americans, especially in our media. Mm -hmm. And is a lot of times, sometimes they're portrayed as good, like popular actors and the likes, and sometimes they're portrayed as like really bad, like uh, robberies, murders, a lot. Mm -hmm. So. I think from my, from my limited view of uh -huh. African Americans before coming to the U.S., that was probably it. It was like the good side, they are big, uh, they represent black people in a good image sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes they represent black people in a bad image. Okay. So, so, so let me ask this. This will be my last question to you. So like, is there a conversation, to what degree, wh wh where's the conversation about black Americans that's like, who want to really identify with Africa, but they're Americans? It's like, they're like, dude, you're an African. And like, you, you're an American. Like, what's this stuff about African-American? Like, whatever. Is that a conversation among a lot of Nigerians? I will say, uh, we, we do like encourage a lot of, like back home, a lot of African Americans to come visit or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see the culture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but to say that we're like the same people is kind of like bizarre. Now, yes, we know that from history they did descend from West Africa's primarily Nigeria and Ghana. We we know of this. Yes, but like we feel like they've made a history for themselves and a culture uh -huh. for themselves that uh -huh. we are now distinct groups. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So you're, so it's a distinct world. It's like you're from the continent. They're not from the continent. They're from the United States. Yes. They're okay, Americans. Got you. Yeah. They're Americans. They got an American passport. And so, okay, I got you. Um, it, so it, it's really gets complex then like all of these kinds of conversations. So what, what I'm doing, what we're doing here, what I'm doing in this particular conversation right here is just like jamming things up a little bit, trying to like stir up the pot so that we start thinking about things in really complex ways. Because when I think about race relations, like, and so for Stella here, like I'm thinking about you and I'm gonna have you back up a different time and in, like in a, in a few weeks on a different thing. But like when I think about this conversation, I think this is really complex. And, and, and people have very different perspectives on it. You, like, one, one is the United States isn't the center of the world, <laughs> right? It's not the center of the world, man. And it's not the center, and we don't define all relationships between race, ethnic, and cultural groups. Okay, all right, cool. Hey, thanks.
Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. You can just leave, leave, the, leave the mic there. All right, man.